ือแบบนี้มันไกลกับผมได้ไงเรื่องความรักมันห่างจากผมตั้งไกลไม่เคยคิดว่ามันจะมีจริงไหมไม่เชื่อเรื่องราวนี้เลยจนวันนี้มันที่ได้มาพบคุณเกิดสปายและเกิดอาการไม่เคยแค่คุณจิ้มเคยยินสุดตาเฉยๆอ้อยเคินหัวใจอ่อนแอแล้วผมก็สดคุณทั้งใจเหมือนผมแต่อยู่ตรงกลางแสงไฟกลัวยังกลัวกลัวกลัวว่าคุณไม่สนใจคิดก็ไม่จริงได้แค่หึงจนวุ่นวายแล้วผมต้องบอกคุณว่าไงสมมุติว่าเกิดคุณรักใครกลัวยังกลัวกลัวกลัวว่าคุณไม่สนใจคิดก็ไม่จริงได้แค่หึงจนวุ่นวายกระดันไปรักคุณคุณแล้วโทษทีครับไม่ตั้งใจก็ดูสิครับลงอีกแล้วหยุดมองคุณในทีนี้กระดันไปรักคุณคุณแล้วโทษทีครับไม่ตั้งใจก็ดูสิครับลงอีกแล้วหยุดมองคุณในทีนี้คุณทำให้โลกเปลี่ยนปฏิหารที่มีหัวใจก็เป็นคุณใช่หรือเปล่าเสกความเงาที่มีหายไปฮะ memory loss that's right but that was an accident my mom didn't do it on purpose I never thought things would turn out like this at first I brought him home because I was so scared since he seemed fine I thought we would wait for him to wake up apologize and then I'd take full responsibility but who knew he would become like this It's true. I'll bear witness. We didn't mean to conceal this from the chief and everyone else. Mm. We had no choice. Hmm. Well then, Pat. Then what do you plan to do? I thought it through. Let's keep that CEO here for a little while longer. I hope everyone can help me keep this a secret. We can't let anyone find out about what happened and who Thomas really is. How could you make this such a big situation? If anyone gets wind of this, all the villagers are going to jail. What are you selling time for? Yeah, right. Weren't you the one who told us before that that if we had the chance right in our hands, we had to grasp it and couldn't let it slip away? Actually, I don't want to be so cold-hearted either. But this might be the only way for us to get through this hard time. Think about it. If we let him go back, our land, our houses, everything will be taken away. How are we supposed to make a living? We're all going to have a harder time. All right? I promise I'll think of a better option. But for now... I don't want my mom to be arrested. Please, everyone, please have mercy on us. Come on, Pat. What identity have you given him that allows him to stay with you? Our relatives, 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 distant relative. But you've seen how cruel and ruthless he was before. How could a selfish man like him understand our difficulties that easily? That's right. He wanted to take our land away, and Chief almost died because of him. Why would you want to keep this unscrupulous businessman in your house, huh? If it were us, we wouldn't allow him to stay in our village. Am I right, everyone? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Kick him out. I'll make him better. Every person surely has at least some good in them. When the time comes and he regains his memory, he'll be able to help us. I'll make him a better person than before. 
I only need three months. If I can't do it, I'll let him go. What do you think? How about it? Should we agree to that? If by then, this method doesn't work out like Pat said, I'll turn myself in. Mom. I will turn myself in too. I was there when it happened. Then I will turn myself in as well. I'm an accomplice to Mom and Laurent. Pat. Then I'm also willing to go to jail. I'm not going to let that blood-sucking businessman take our land. What do you say? Yeah! Right, Chief? All right, then that's settled. Now that we're all in the same boat, we're like a family. Right, everyone? Yeah! Yeah! That's, that's right. right! That's right! Excuse me. That's right! Oh. Oh. Huh? Thomas! How could you eavesdrop on the chief's meeting? I didn't mean to eavesdrop. I just wanted to say that I'm hungry. You're hungry? Yeah, I'm really hungry. Past chickens have a full belly and I haven't eaten. Is there anything for me? Uh. Hmm. Looks like you really did lose his memory. Why didn't you say a word to us about Nakenthan's disappearance? How did you find out? I'm the one who told them. Because I was worried about the cooperation project with Japan. If we can't find Ken, he won't be able to sign the contract within next week. Channel will suffer a great loss. I don't know what's going on, but I must emphasize the point being made here, which is the impact that will be caused if Mr. Nakaton can't come back in time to sign the contract. It's incalculable. We need someone else to lead this project. You can't do that. Ken was the one who negotiated this. He's invested so much in this, and he knows best how to successfully obtain and carry out this project. I hope he can continue to do it himself. However, if we miss the signing, there may not be another opportunity like this ever again. I am sure. I will be able to find Ken before signing the contract. The police are working hard to investigate this case. We've made some headway, but I'm unable to discuss further information. I promise that I can get Ken back before signing the contract, no matter what the cost is. All right then, we'll give you a chance. If you haven't found Ken by this Sunday, however, we'll appoint a new CEO to take over his work so that our company can continue to operate smoothly. Sure. I'm sorry that I did this, but I did it out of concern for our company. Did you find out about Ken from Natasha? Don't blame Natasha. She seems so anxious. I just went and comforted her. Natasha probably didn't know who to talk to since you weren't there. Hi. <sighs> Could you at least keep this a secret together with the other executives? What's wrong? Is there something even more difficult? I'll let you know if there's any more progress. But for now, I don't want to make anything more complicated. Okay. Let me know if you need any help.
Oh, don't go away! Don't come over here! Oh no! Don't come near me! yourself why did you hit me I'm your little brother huh did I hit you oh uh. I didn't mean to I'm so sorry I was dreaming I can't remember clearly but it was a super strange dream oh whatever that was there are more important things to do right now what now we have to give Thomas a new identity Fried those sticks are ready. But hey, we're relatives. You don't need to call me so politely. Um, you're right. I guess I don't feel familiar enough. I don't call anyone Miss or Sir. That's right. You're already 28 years old, even older than I am. There's no need for that. Huh? Didn't you say you didn't remember my age before? I, I remember now. That's all. Just go. Take that over there. All right. Here we are. Thank you, young man. Enjoy your meal. All right. By the way, where did you come from? So unfamiliar. You must be from Mama Malami. Am I right? Excuse me, but how did you know I was from? Malemi. Uh, you look exactly like someone who comes from there. You're Pat's relative, right? Oh, how did you know I was Pat's distant relative? Um... <sighs> because none of the aunties here have ever seen you before. Yes, that's right. That means we are not close relatives. We're distant relatives. That's right. Mm -hmm. Oh. I see. Well, can I help you? Uh, I'll have the same as hers. No problem. Uh, hurry up and go get it. Okay.
Mm, very good. Here you go, Auntie. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. One right. kilogram of eggs, please. Okay. I want to make fried eggs. You like to eat fried eggs too? Do I like to eat fried eggs? Every time I'm here, I see you eating it. Oh, really? Yeah. Is this all you'll be having? Uh, uh, that's all, that's all. Uh, but I think you wrote a lot to buy. Uh, uh, that's my lottery number. I just decided I was going to buy it. Uh, hurry and go get my eggs or else I'll be late. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was really fast. Right, here you are. Thank you. Uh, here you go. Thank you. Ah, very good. Mm. What are you standing there for? Go clean the dishes and the cups. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Hey, 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 what do you want? Go home, we're not selling. I just wanted to know if you brought your husband... No! Wrong word. I mean that relative's relative's distant relative here. Right! Where is he? That's not like you, Hannah. She doesn't like going around the village to show off. Thank goodness you don't have a husband. Otherwise, people will suffer from your boasting. Don't try to cover up your sister's scandal by scolding me. Just admit he's her husband. What's the matter with the husband at this age? Mm, huh? Why lie about it? Hey, husband, this husband that... Do you want to get married that badly? My daughter is not as desperate as you, looking for a husband every day, you brat. So she doesn't want a husband, but she spends the night in forest, lying on top of him, no less. Don't tell me they went out to pick mushrooms and just fall over, like in TV drama. It doesn't make sense, okay? Right. But I really went to pick up mushrooms in the forest with Pat. Sis, sis, be chill, come down. Huh? Uh huh. Your true nature is just a little girl who sees a man and wants to jump him. You've lost all sense of reason. Sis, you are here to find focus to her, so focus on the mission. So you're Thomas? I'm Thomas. 28 years old from Mao Le Mi. I'm a distant relative of Pat. I like fried eggs, and I went into the forest to pick mushrooms with Pat. Oh. So is it true that no one saw you both all night because you fell down the cliff? That's right. The reason why I took my clothes off was because uh, we had to climb a mountain at that time. So I used them to tie Pat on my back so she wouldn't fall off. And the reason why Pat was on top of me and caressing me was because... Hey! She only touched it! You're not helping! Is there a difference? Of course it's different! Okay, okay. The reason why Pat was touching my chest was because we were chasing after the ambulance, but we fell down and got stuck in a strange post. <laughs> hey! If you're being so detailed, why don't you just write an article for her then? Anything else you want to know, bratty girl? Yes. So, is he a distant relative? Or a relative's relative's distant relative? Huh? It's strange everyone says differently. So strange. So strange. Yeah. What kind of relationship do we have? So, so strange. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Hey. Be a man! Have some confidence! Don't waver just because of these random words! We have proof! Uh, I don't understand why you're talking all this you're nonsense! You're the one who can't be trusted! How can you believe them and everything they can say? Just, just look at them! Juice. Look at them! Can you trust them at all? Hey, take, 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 take it out of here! Tell us! Tell us! Tell us! We want to know you! Be careful from all right now! Just leave, Hannah! Yeah! Leave our village! Throw that bratty girl into the forest! Tell us about it! Ah! Yeah!
Hey, why did you admit it? This kind of gossip will disperse in a few days. No one will care. My sister is going to suffer. Even if it's true, no one is going to believe it now. The whole village is gossiping. But I don't like people talking about Pat like that. Those aren't facts. This sucks. Troubling me in the end. You're so big yet you can't even ride a bike. I'm sorry to trouble you. I'll practice cycling and riding motorcycles in the future so I can help everyone. Here, ride it then. Right now? Mm. Get on. I'll teach you. All right, all right. Hold down to the handles. This is the brake. Brake. Hold down on both brakes. I'm gonna push you now. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Okay then. Let's go! Hey, hey, hey! Wait, why is it so fast? Hey, hey, hey! Hey! Huh? Thomas! Are you alright, Thomas? Thomas! Hey! What are you doing? Hey there. What's going on? Uh, nothing. Everything's fine. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> well, we're off. What a ride. Let's go. You're so unlucky, Thomas. Of all the places, you fell into a mud pit. I told you I can't cycle. Hey, let's go watch it. Okay. Hey, you want to play? Let's play together. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Come on! He thinks just because he's a plutocrat, just because he's rich, he can do whatever he wants to us. He's just bullying poor people! You must pay what's due. Poverty is not an excuse. Disgusting. into nature is becoming a trend. So I was thinking that our whole village could create a homestay experience together. The concept is that visiting us will be like visiting our relatives. Each and every villager will take care of the guests as if they were their uncles and aunts, moms and grandmas, and make all of them feel at home. The accommodation would be like a vintage style house. All the activities will revolve around the understanding of farm life. A tour guide will introduce the history of the village, 
then take the guests to visit the natural scenery, and then go to worship the frog god. <sighs> but that's not all! They can also get closer to nature by entering the forest and picking pollution-free vegetables from the fields to make local specialties. If anyone likes small animals, we have frogs, pigs, chickens, and also bats. But our main sell point is tranquility. We have no Wi-Fi, no TV, no neon lights or any light pollution. Only moonlight, lamplight, and the flickering light of fireflies. Ah, we're here. You sure it's here? Yeah, just here. There's no other place. Can people live here? Hey! Of course they can! <sighs> oh! Chief! Laurent! Why are you two here? I met him on the way, so I picked him up. The nerve! People aren't lemons. You can just pick off the ground. Lawrence, the word you should have used is bring. You, um, you're bringing Thomas here to visit, so I came to take a look. Oh, all right then. Come along with us and have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Once we clean up, we can open up this place to tourists in no time. Oh, uh, uh. uh, hey. What is he doing? Hey, Pat, why is he walking around so fast like that? I don't think this is going to work out well. <laughs> so unsafe. Untidy. There aren't monitors. Or any convenience at all. The activities you thought of probably won't work. How can you possibly take care of tourists at this place is like this? Hey, you talk too much. Do you even know how to manage a homestay? Even if I didn't know, but from the concept that you portrayed earlier, it's not like this. This is nothing like visiting a relative's home. My relative's home, which is Pat and Laurent's home, is way better than this. Mm. If you know so well, you can come and fix it then. Oh, Pat, all I meant was just to remind you. I don't care. Didn't you just say that you know the concept of what a proper homestay is? Then make it. Since you're going to start working here anyway, just think of this as the start of your first job. Do it. If you don't, don't come back home and don't even think of eating even a grain of rice.
Hey, Pat. I didn't expect someone like him to be able to do those jobs. Uh, uh, earlier I got myself a little bit worried. Did he really lose his memory like that? But to be honest, he's right, Pat. Who would like an awful environment like this? We'll just close down again in three months. Laurent! You're wavering, aren't you? He has nothing but ill intentions. Saying those things. Subconsciously, he's still thinking about taking this place. Like his original plan. That's why he's trying to stop us. Once he regains his memories, he'll take this place away from us. No way. I'm never going to give up. Oh, hey! Where have you been? Why is Thomas like this? Thomas cleaned up the homestay, he repaired the rooms, and did everything. He was awesome. Oh, so hardworking. I like that. Huh? I don't know if it will work. We still need to continue observing and see whether it can really attract tourists. Thomas, go wash yourself. Go to the market tomorrow, because we're almost out of food and goods. Remember to bring Thomas with you to do the heavy lifting. Uh, say it. I'll go then, Mom. Let Thomas look after the shop. No need. Let Thomas go. Let him help Pat. You you look after the shop for him. Go now. Oi, Mom. Mom! Hey! Natasha, have you been resting properly? Do you have any news on Ken? There's still no news from the police, but I'm sure I'll find the whereabouts of Ken. I believe that Ken is still alive. Natasha, but for now, I think that you need to have a good meal and a good rest, or else Ken is going to blame me. I want him to come and blame me. Not to blame you. Blame me for anything. I just want to see him again. To hold him. To look at him. I'm willing to do anything in the world. I just really miss him. He'll come back. But first of all, you need to eat and rest well. Save up your energy to greet him. Please stay with me. My mind is all over the place. Please. I'll always be with you. What did you say? Mm. Aww, getting all shy. The whole district knows about what happened in the woods. I heard that you ripped your clothes off. 
and tied her hands together. Just look at the stamina of young people these days. That's not the case. It's, it's not Don't true. Don't be shy. We were just lost in the woods. Pat, All right, Pat. just stop it. Uh, no, excuse me. It's already Pat. come to this. Oh, how cute. So devoted to each other. This way, Pat is suffering too much. Who was it? I'll beat him up. Not just the village, but the whole district is gossiping. Huh? The whole district, Mom? Huh? You think you can beat them all up? <sighs> but the way I see it, this is not too bad. Pat's reputation being rude is not too bad? Nora, what are you thinking about? Of course about how to help everyone, Chief. Have you forgotten Thomas's true identity? If we can do something and make the two of them a pair... <laughs> no! I will never let Pat date Thomas! Not on my watch! <laughs> Pat, wait a second! Pat, let's talk about this! Pat... Pat... Pat, wait! Wait, Thomas! Pat. Wait, what happened? Uh... About the incident in the woods, the villagers said... We slept together. Mm, you unlucky bastard! You should never have come here! Pat! Wait for me! <sighs> wait, Pat! Wait, Thomas! Don't go yet! I have something to tell you! Right? What? Something to tell oh, you? Oh, right, right, yes! Something to tell you! Come and sit! What did you say? Pat and I... are lovers? What? What lovers? I don't want that! That's right. I didn't want to talk about it. Why not talk about it? Because... Because Pat is really upset. So she didn't want to mention it. I think it's a bad idea. I don't know what Uncle Tao and Mom are thinking. Go on, Pat. Tell everyone the truth about everything. If we say anything, that evil CEO is going to bring the police to arrest us. We'll go to jail, Laurent. What is she upset about? What else could there be? You were unfaithful and had a woman on the side even before the wedding. Huh? That's a large pill to swallow. And why can't I remember anything? Pat kept trying to send me home. No matter how angry one gets, they shouldn't abandon the other. Are you willing to be his girlfriend? No way! <sighs> but we can't say nothing. Did you forget that it was our mom who hit him with a car? And we united the whole village to lie to him? Think about the consequences. What do we do then, Pat? Uncle and Mom are matching you up. Huh? Uh, do you want to go with the flow and talk about it after? Um... 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 Now that it's come to this, it's better to let the truth come out. Uh, Pat really loves you with all her heart. But you were a womanizer, always making her sad every single day. That that's why she wanted to break up with you and wouldn't let us tell you anything about the entire situation. And you, you, you wanted to drink mushroom soup. So you told Pat to go pick mushrooms in the forest and didn't come home all night. So that's the reason why everyone is talking about it behind your backs. 
gossiping that you brought her into the woods to reconcile. And that's the whole truth. Mm, that's exactly what happened. I really don't remember anything. But since the chief said so, it's probably true. Was I really that bad and irresponsible? Sis! Got it all? Sis! Sis! Why? I need to tell something. Come closer. They're all saying that Pat is getting married. Huh? What are you talking about? Pat is marrying the handsome guy? Huh? What are you talking about? Sis! The entire market is talking about it. And the guy is called Thomas. Thomas. Even his name is so lovely. And he's gorgeous. Why does Pat get to have all the good things? Sis, that's really what I heard from them. They're saying that they are engaged to get married. And the reason they were in the woods was for their wedding rehearsal. Hey, no way. I think that's a lie. I'm sure there must be some secret. But sis, were you the one who told Pat at first to elope with the guy? Then you'd be famous throughout the village. And the prettiest girl in the whole district. At that time, I didn't know that he would be so handsome. If he looked like you, that would be a different case. You're no beauty. You want a beauty? Mm. Hmm. Hi. Why does Pat get to have all the good things? No! Just wait and see. I'm gonna prove that these are all lies. Why are you smiling? Wait, Pat. Let go. What do you want? I just want to apologize to you for everything that happened. Apologize for what? Auntie and Chief told me everything. Let's start over. Uh, are you crazy? Pat, wait. Pat! 
Pat. Close the door. Hey. What are you doing in here? I told you to go out and close the door. Not close the door from inside. Hey. I don't need to go out. Because this is my room too. Are you nuts? This is my room. What do you mean your room? Get out. Oh, but aren't the two of us couples? We're getting married, so I have the right to stay. You have no rights at all. Get out. Who let you in? What's wrong? Are we not boyfriend and girlfriend? Uh, uh, uh. Hey, if you don't refute, that means you admit it. D d don't come over here. Come on. Please forgive me. I know that I was so awful before, but I lost my memory, so consider this a start over, okay? Don't! Let's make up. Get out! Make Get out. up? Don't come over here! Get out! Don't stop! Hmm? Hmm? Get out already! Hmm? Don't come near Let's me! Make up? Get out! Hey! What's up, sis? What do you see? That is such a Thomas chest! No way! Sis, slow down. Uh, uh, sis, sis, sis. Get Let's out. Make up. I won't make up. I told you to get out. Get out. Uh. Get up slowly. Slowly now. Can you do it? Oh, no. I can. Let's go. 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 Wait, wait. wait. Why are you touching your butt, sis? Want to take it down? What? Letter, idiot. So, do you want to go or not? Let's go to the hospital instead, cause I can't do this. To the hospital? All right, let's go. Let's Wait go, and see. Sis. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Slow Ouch. down, sis. Can't take this. Let me help you with the atmosphere, Pat. <laughs> oh, oh, Lauren, you didn't even make a sound. What if you scared me to death? Why turn off the light? Are you creating chances for that guy? Well... How could you do that? Do you even see Pat as your daughter? Of course I do! That's why I want a good life for her! Who says a good life relies on him? I won't allow this! <sighs> huh? Let go of me! Uh... No way, no way. You held on to me first. Are you crazy? You're going too far. Let go, let go. We're a couple. This is normal. No, it's not. It's not. No hugging for couples. You have no right. Get out. What's the matter? You won't let me hold you. You're kicking me out. So we had no relationship at all? Of course we didn't. Are you nuts? Why would I have anything to do with you? I thought you hugged me because we had a relationship. Because I wasn't responsible for you. Because I wasn't responsible for you. You have a lot of self-respect. Pervert! Uh, oh. Lunatic! Oh. Ah! Ah! Laurent! Do you have to do this? You want to just go on and hand Pat over to that guy? I won't allow that! To protect Pat, I'm not gonna go easy on you. You remember what you did tonight? Listen up. You're not allowed to enter my room without my permission. Hmm. No. 
Oh, why are you so cruel? How could you do this to someone you were going to marry? Why, why did you like me before? Was this for Pat? Was I that rich? He's just bullying poor people! Poverty is no excuse. Disgusting. Come in, come on in, come inside. Where are you from? We're from China. I read on the internet that you were reopening, so I wanted to come and show my support. <laughs> We've been here the whole time and we never closed down. We just did some renovating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know, I saw the news about your lawsuit with the investor. I hope it's well for you. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Tea's here. Please Come enjoy some, some hot tea. tea. Uh, Our village is special tea. Please enjoy. Thank you. 